difficulty. Um, we're going to continue doing some more side quests just to level up a little bit because I think an important thing to do in these in these Witcher games is you know do as many side quests as you can to level up to be at the right level to be doing the harder content because at the moment this these quests these side quests they're giving us experience and the the very little combat so you know we're we're giving ourselves an advantage for when the tough battles do come in the future. Do that often. Talk to your dog. It's my brother's, Bastion's, but I guess he's mine now. See, Bastion fought the Black Ones in a battle just outside the village. I haven't had word of him since. I told him, do like I did, lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. Too damn afeard he was. Bloody hell. Alright guys, I forgot to mention what the quest was that we're doing. It's a side quest, and we found it on a notice board. This guy's brother has been missing since the war. So he doesn't know if he's dead or, you know, he's gone somewhere else. So uh, we, we're willing to help him now. We're going to walk the battlefield with him, see if we can find his brother's corpse or where, see signs of whereabouts of where his body is. I'd walk the battlefield if I were you. I did. Sea of corpses. And corpses feeding. Someone told me they're feared of fire, so I took a torch, tried to chase them off. Horse shite, I tell you. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hussar here. Listen, guessing you carry those swords for more than show. Come with me. Keep the ghouls off. Help me find Bastion and I'll pay you well. Sure. Fine, I'll help you. Just been a few days since the battle. Chances we find your brother alive are slim. Very slim. Who would have thought? But I want to find his body at least. So Bastion don't rot there in the sun with the black ones. Meet me on the hill overlooking the battlefield. We'll move on together from there. So his brother has already looked on the battlefield and he hasn't found his corpse. So that's probably a good sign that, you know, if he can't find his body, then he might still be alive. So I don't know why I'm running. I should call my horse. Let's get on the horsey and we'll head towards the um, battlefield and meet this guy and try and find his brother's corpse. So we've got the dog. The dog's pretty beat up as well. I don't know if you've seen in the cutscene, but his face is all scarred. No idea what happened to that. So, um, uh, you can follow the, the waypoints on the map, or you can just run across the fields, mo mostly. It's more of a direct route, you know, you get there quicker. I mean, because there's not many buildings in the way as they're blocking you from running across the fields. It's always better to just run across, but there may be enemies, you know, in the woods and stuff. So this looks like the battlefield right here. There's, yeah, it's definitely the battlefield. A lot of dead bodies in the swampy land and flags and why has he got like short short like hot pants on? You must be really poor if you can't afford like proper trousers. You're here, good. Bastion. His body must be here somewhere. Among countless others, want to examine them one by one? Could take a while. You needn't fret. The recruits from White Orchard painted a small flower on their shields so as to be able to spot each other in battle. There was just a few of them. We look for the flowers, we'll find Bastion quick. No offence, but many a soldier's dropped his shield. Especially if he was on the losing side. If we find the shield alone, Hassan will catch the scent and lead us to Bastion. Come on! The sooner we get this done, the better. I mean, this kind of makes the, the, um, the Witcher look like a good guy. Really, like, he's only doing it for the money. If he wasn't offering any cash as a reward to find his brother, he wouldn't be doing this. So many corpses, and the war's just started. I really like the, um, the idea of being, like, an arsehole in this game. Just taking anyone's money whenever you can, and because you are so powerful against any humans, you know, you can easily intimidate them. There's a blunt axe there. Can we use, can we use an axe as a weapon? Another axe. Okay, there's loads of weapons we can pick up. So, we don't need to get inside the circle for the quest. We can use our sensors. We're looking for... Is it these shields? They're not flowers though, are they really? Is that what the flowers are? What he said about... They have flowers on the shields. Plenty of swords. We can sell these swords. And then... Um, also, dismantle them if we need parts to craft more stuff. Right, I'm being to... Um, I'm looting... Oh god, there's enemies here. So this is why he wants me to come, to be protect them. It's 
Let's put the sign on. So these girls are quite easy to kill. Because they've got all like, they're just ghouls, they don't block. So once you get them like in the corner, and you hit them a few times, they're really easy to finish off. And they don't attack that often either. So we may as well loot these ghouls as well. I think you only get toxic stuff off them though, don't you? Yeah, venom extracts. I don't know how good they are in alchemy. Right, so there was a shield over here shining before. And we started fighting. Where was it? There's one there. That him? No. Neighbor's son. Neighbor's son? Looked like he was in a hut on his own. Didn't look like he had any neighbors. I might come, come back later. Here. Can you smell Bastion, boy? Uh, still I, I need to get inside the circle. I'm being silly here. Keep running outside the circle. There's another shield there. That him? No. Doesn't look anything like him. All right. Another shield over here. Come on, Essa. Uh, skin's burned off. Might be hard to tell, I know, but could this be him? Oh yeah. Bastion was big, broad-shouldered. This one seems smaller, but maybe it's the fire did that. <laughs> All right. There's not many. Oh, there's one there. That him? No. Quest updated. He found him. Hassar's caught. He's sent. Come on. Okay. Dogs found the scent. Must have found the shield and then smelt where he's gone. Oh shit! Where are we? Follow the dog's trail. Crap! Where's the trail? I just kind of ran into the woods. There's something yellow over there. I think that might be a bush though. We can loot. Yeah, it is. Might as well do that while we're here, though. That was a hut. What's this? But there is more. My lieutenant demanded we defecate on command. Ballista bolts landing all around, and all he could say was, A soldier with a full stomach will not step onto the battlefield. Now, shit, that is an order. Can you believe it? The cretin. Stop! Oh, you're, oh, you're killing me. My my ribs. Oh, it hurts to laugh. <laughs> that was a His voice. But first, want to explain what's going on here? Bastion. Is he? Has this Nilf Guardian captured you? No. He saved my life. I, I got a cut to my side, and then got hit in the head. Couldn't see anything. Rose in here found me as, as he crawled across the battlefield, his legs twisted, and so we were, a blind man leading a cripple, found this place. I'm taking you home, we need to see to these wounds. I won't leave Rose in here, I'll own he'll die, and he can't go back to his home, he's deserted, they'll hang him. And what if they find him with us? They'll hang us all, my Laisha included. No, the Blackened stays here. So it's two guys who didn't want to be in the battle and decided to, on the opposing sides, you know, come together and fuck the, fuck the war and just run off and hide in a hut. So my choices right here are your brother's right, it's too risky. If not for him, Bastion would be dead. I think that one's the better option there because, you know, that guy saved his life and you can't just let him die. Bastion only made it with the Black One's help. Maybe you ought to show him Nordlings aren't as barbarous as Nilfgaardians make us out to be. Well, I could give him our pa's clothes, teach him to work the field, but that accent... Fine, I'll take him in. Thank you, Witcher. Your reward, and the gods protect you. Good stuff. Alright, that's that quest complete. Anything to loot inside here? What's in there? 
alchemy paste and this stuff alchemy paste any more alchemy paste over this corner this must be an alchemist's hut then <laughs> would make sense can we get to it oh that's powder all right so let me just look at the quest a second i think we've got the main quest there we can ask we still haven't asked the guard about yennefer actually we'll do that now you know i've done two side quests already so we'll continue back onto the main quests and see if we can find about the whereabouts of yennefer all right, guys, you've now arrived at a Nilfgaardian garrison. This is where Yennefer has been before, so we're going to ask around, see if we, if anyone knows... Actually, see if she's still here. I doubt she will be, but if anyone knows where she's gone. So we need to ask the Nilfgaardians about Yennefer. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. See, you can be nice. Got work for me. See huh. that one. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. So I don't know where these Nilf Guardians came from, but I don't think this is their home. They've, like, came up and they fought the battle over this place. You know, won the battle, and now they're taken over, got their own garrison set up. I don't know where they're from. I need to ask the Nilf Guardian about Yennefer. He's up here. There's a lot of flowers here. Right, let's um, go upstairs into this tower. Craftsman. Craftsman can craft a variety of items for you, small fee. Blacksmiths forge weapons, armors make armor. Alright. So is, what's this guy make? Let's have a little quick look at him. Password. Dunno any. So out for a little walk, you eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army we've a place for nosy revelers. The scaffold. And thick skulled quartermasters. They got a place. <laughs> uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well. All right, uh, let me see what he got. Let's see what he's got. Show me what you're peddling. I haven't got much coins because I spent so many of them on the saddlebags, like 150 or something, whatever. It was quite a lot, just to increase the um, the amount we can carry. We can sell swords. They don't sell for much. Nine, five, and six. That's not much at all. That sells 24. I'm gonna sell that. That's my. I think I just found that. Oh, that's the old, I think that might be the old chess piece I was wearing. Because I bought a new one. We can also dismantle some of that stuff. Let's, um... We got loads of these axes, didn't we? Let's dismantle all these. That cost, it costs us to dismantle it as well. Let's dismantle five, for now. Alright guys, just got a few more materials from that guy, so in the future, if we get any more recipes to make armors, we can. So let's go speak to the guy who last seen Yennefer. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look, see the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give 30, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. Wow. So we gotta kill a griffin for him to tell us where Yennefer went. He's such a dick. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. 
Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the vulpine woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? I'm a specific herd. Could use some more information about the griffin. Alright, let's talk about the herb. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Alright, so we know where to get the herb. Need more information about this griffin. It's sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Alright, so that's everything we need to know. We need to get a herb to make a trap, and we also need to find more about the actual griffin, so we know its weaknesses, I guess. Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Okay, so the Beast of the White Orchid is the quest. We have two quests for this. We have to get. We have to ask the hunter where he found the bodies, and we have to ask the herbalist about Buckthorn. Um, we'll do that in the next part, guys. Hopefully, we can get this quest done here, and then we can also kill the Griffin all in one video in the next part. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.